Well hello viewers, um, this is the smart set-top box TRK TSP100 um, It's the 4K Ultra HD Edition um, Supports Screencast, YouTube, um, Apitoidia um, It's not the really best, it's more like an entry level device um, To be honest with you, um, I'm going to talk a bit more about it basically um, I'm using the Hacker Ref to transmit a DVT2 signal to it um, and I found out basically that it doesn't perform really well um, so I'll talk more about it basically but for just general um, standard and HD it does a quite a good job for full HD not so bad uh, 1080p 60 hands are pretty good but for 4k 30 um, seems to be the maximal handle up to but any anything higher than that if you're watching YouTube 4k 60 I would recommend that you get a different box altogether because this won't handle it. Um, this is the manual that it comes under. Um, comes with some cables, batteries, remote control, and some composite cables. Um, so this is basically what the manual is. Um, I won't go into details because I want to show you basically um, the setup that I have. So I'm going to basically move over to the next room. So I'm going to cut this video and we'll move over to the next room on how we got this, the lab set up. Okay, here we are basically in the next room. Um, we basically got a, um, a hacker ref uh, set up over here. We're using Genie Radio Companion uh, 3.7. Um, uh, this is basically um, one of the older versions. Um, it's included in Ubuntu, some other Linux distributions here running using Windows 10. Um, this is the VV016256 QAM edition. Um, as you can see, I'm using 585.5 as the center frequency, the um, standard DBT2. I haven't really touched much on the um, on the um, what's called on the on the coding very really much. I left all of it as defaults. The only thing I did is touch the the sample rate, eight megs, and changed it basically to. Um, to the bandwidth to 7 megahertz, 7 megahertz so it works with the Australian standards. Um, the rest basically didn't really do much, didn't really did much anyway. Um, as you can see we're transmitting, um, we've got a bit of underflows. Um, I don't know what the mux rate is exactly. Um, I know an expert in DBT too. Um, I have done DBT transmissions as well. Um, it works perfectly fine on the um, on a TX set the box. Um, so basically this is the um, Hacker Ref um, DVBT2 transmission on the SDR. Well I don't know if you can see it very well, it's a bit blurry, but this is basically the Hacker Ref. Um, this is the Hacker Ref that I'm using, it's an acrylic shield one, um, doesn't heat up very well so it doesn't heat up that much. So, um, yeah, so this is basically a um, low powered transmission. So um, it's running underneath my desk. So, yeah. Well, this is basically how we've got it set up. We've got the hacker of antenna coming up. And we've got another, we've got the receiver basically right next to it. As you can see, we've got the hacker ref doesn't transmit very far. So um, the signal is in full strength, despite it basically. So we've got full signal strength basically to the TIAC. Uh, set the box. Um, so yeah, so that's that's the setup basically. So antenna JC, to antenna. Welcome to the coalition, JC. Well, well this is a set the box. Uh, we're running on channel 42. Um, as you can see, um, it's a HDMI cable. The antenna basically that goes basically to the hacker rep antenna. Um, this is the Samsung TV, it's 1080p TV. Now, the video that we're pumping through to the TV is a 4K source, but it's being scaled down by the set box. So what you're seeing here is a 4K um, um, H.265 video at 20 megabits per second. Um, um, so the video bitrate is H.265, 20 megabits per second CBR, and we're using a Dolby AC3 at 4 to 8K stereo. Now, this is the maximum they would actually do. If the video bitrate is higher, um, the video will start to stutter and will start to crash, and it will start giving you um, 
um, what we call um, well pixelation in some extreme cases. So I notice that the set the box kind of handles such high bit rates, uh, and this actually happens in certain complicated or certain fast moving scenes. Um, now, if you actually try to put this video at 60 FPS, which I do have the original 60 FPS of this, of this gaming video, um, it doesn't work. Uh, now, I have tried a 10 bit H HLG um, hybrid log gamma file, which is also used in, um, in transmissions in some parts of Europe. It doesn't work, it's a black screen. So, if you're actually thinking of getting this box, I recommend you not to get it. To be honest with you, um, this box over here uh, is worth $95 on eBay. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting this box at all. Um, I think it's um, it's very cheap. Um, it's more like if, it, if you're trying to, um, you know, um, you know, I don't know if you remember his old brown it's suit. more worth if you're trying to do HD, SD, or full HD. Um, I wouldn't recommend to doing, wouldn't, wouldn't be doing DVD2 on this one, as it's not really supported for all the features. Um, some 4K transmissions are done on 4K 50 hertz, um, which is four, which is 50 frames per second, which you won't do it. Um, so, um, as I said, this is 30 frames per second. If this was 50, um, as I said, it would be a complete uh, black screen or worse, uh, it crashes at the box. So, um, unfortunately, this is actually quite useless. So, this is actually Hacker Rep DVT2 transmission. Um, I don't have a DVT2 um, transmission here in uh, in England. Um, the Broadcast Australia does testing in North Sydney and the South Eastern Queensland. So the only DVT to test that I can do is with my SDR. Uh, so I'm quite amazed that it works. Uh, I'll give you the details over here on my on my remote control. Uh, I'm on 585 megahertz. It's over a five. Um, it's a looping file. Um, Replace this whole body Let me go further. Uh, I've got an EIT screen sharing man. session. This is a screen yeah, sharing session of Computer Dexter One. I'm using TS Stack to actually um, all I know generate all of these uh, metadata. 4222, to my to channel name. Uh, you can like see Dolby rhetoric. there. Um, Always more rhetoric. So, yeah. Um, so, um, this is DOSX um, revision. Downloaded off YouTube, you can see the pixelation there again. Um, so um, you can see that this is basically just handling it to a certain point. Um, um, so I wouldn't recommend this. Um, um, I wouldn't recommend this um, set the box for for serious HD for serious UHD viewing. So um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and um, yeah, um, um, and um, feel free to leave comments, uh, subscribe, um, and um, yeah, um, and that's it. Okay, bye. Get your man out. Take back the statue.